The goal is to make sales. The goal is not to follow trend. The goal is not to be popular online. The goal is to see cash at hand. If you're not making sales, you're not making profits, you're not in business. Hi everyone, welcome back again to Start Up With Breakthrough. And on today's conversation, I'm going to be sharing four tips business owners can employ within this ember moon to make more sales. Now, within this ember moon to make more sales two things i want to put as a disclaimer is that every business has a season right so if this is not your season you don't have to you don't have to be pressured really in the fitness industry or in the fitness space this is really not their season ember season is really not their season it's around january when people don't even make a lot of sales that they make a lot of sales so if that is your space or if you are in a space or industry that is in that kind of um that has that kind of trend right I'm going to be sharing just four tips because the things you need to really do to make sales are not ambiguous they are not so much and it's not really a science it's not a genuine thing it's not a hack number one thing i'm going to talk to you about is your old customers now it's one thing to acquire new customers but it's a better thing to be able to deepen the relationships you have with your old customers we are in october so we have october november december this is a long time for you to now start reaching out to your old customers and start talking to them about any sales discounts that you'll be doing in December. Why? These people already, they've bought from you, they know you, they trust you, and you've delivered. So you don't need to do, need to do a lot of salesy talk. You don't need to convince them. You don't need to preach to them. They have bought from you already. It's super easy to sell to customers who have purchased from you than selling to new customers. And you don't even need to do a lot of discount for them to buy. If it's something they need, they'll buy ASAP. And another point why you should reach out to these people is that sometimes people stop patronizing you, not because they don't need your product anymore, but because they can't probably remember your page. They have a lot going on. Some people have lost your contact. Some people have lost their Instagram pages. So they've lost followers and all of that. So they are not able to find your page. And sometimes the Instagram and Facebook are not reading. It's not nice. So they don't see the post you put out. So this is like remember you or letting them know that, oh, you're still in business. You still sell the stuff they need. You still sell the things they need. And it's quite easy. Now, how do you go about this? Because one thing is to say, do this. Another thing is to give you the tips on how to go about this process. Number one, by now as a business owner, you know that data is important. It's important for you to have the numbers, the email address, and the possibly social media handles of the customers who buy from you. So this is where data comes in. You have to use your own data and reach out to them. If you need to send SMS, that's nice. If you need to send WhatsApp messages, that's nice. If you need to send them messages on social media, that's nice. Another way you can approach this is by using your Facebook pixel um, icon and retarget your old customers so using your facebook means that you can be retargeting the people who have shopped from you on website or people who have shopped from you on instagram if you don't have the pixel working that's fine but the idea is that you can actually run new ads that retargets old customers or people who have come across your page before the idea is that you are not preaching too much the idea is that these people already know you so it's easy for you to sell to them so this is a hack that you should start trying out now because the good thing is that if you are consistent about retargeting your old customers reaching out to your old customers you will get a lot of feedback and you will make a lot of sales even before it gets to december so that is the number one hack now the number two thing to do to make sure you make sales this december is what this is the time you start checking your best sellers now i know that everybody will tell you run ads do this do that but guess what what are you running ads for why are you running ads in 2023 and beyond it's not time for you to make decisions based on what is trending what instagram coaches tell you to do what you're seeing other people do what you're seeing your competitors do what you think or what you feel should work no you have to make decisions from a place of data, from a place of information. And what data do you have in your business? You have data of your best selling products. You have data of your best demanding products. You have data of things that people buy with ease. 
Now, I'm telling you to take this route or to make use of these tips because it's going to save you a whole lot of money, a whole lot of time. And you'll be able to make a large amount of profit within a short period of time, which is what business really is. Business is about making profits. The moment you forget that, the moment you start substituting that for being popular, for trending on Instagram, for doing all the unnecessary things, you lose the point. If you're not making sales, you're not making profits, you're not in business. So my number two tip to you is check your best selling products. You have your data to show what you have bought most in the year. The items that customers have requested more for. Once you're able to get that data, you know what people want. And you try to also deepen down that conversation to understand why are they buying it. Is it because it's more affordable? Is it because it's a bundle? Is it because it's, it's more convenient to use? What is the reason why that bestseller is a bestseller? It will also help you to communicate better in your ad, your marketing, and just get people to buy that particular product. So you're not just selling everything. You're selling what people want to get. And you can make sure that you align your bestseller to the season. It's Christmas period. People, we people want to buy more of this. During Christmas period, people are looking at convenience. People are looking at fast delivery. People are looking at gifts. People are looking at things that make them happy. People really don't buy laptops during Christmas unless they are buying it as a gift to somebody or a gift to themselves. Right? It's a lot more about food, groceries, clothing, bundles. Do you understand? So you want to also go down the the, you want to go down the lane of understanding why people are buying that particular product and if it aligns with the season and if it does that's your catch you push out what people want to buy not what you think they should buy because sometimes we try to make decisions for customers we think oh you should try try this but they don't want that sometimes you think of customers want convenience they don't want convenience they want to track they want to come to your store and buy stuff Reasons why immediately after COVID, we thought that in work, like stores and physical stores will not work anymore. But now we went from, oh, we are buying online to, oh, we might just come to the store to actually people moving from buying online to actually coming to the stores, physical stores to make purchase. So customer trends, customers um, want, they change and they change because of people's need and because of a lot of reasons that you as a business owner can handle. But what you can do is to align, right? So you don't want to make a decision from a place of, oh, I think this would sell. No, you want to make a decision based on data, based on trend, based on what your customers actually want. Right? So that is my number two tip. Number three, the next thing you want to do is market, right? We now know who we want to sell to. We now know what we want to sell. But how do we sell? That's the next thing. So my number three tip will be around your marketing. Now, this is the time where a lot of people are running ads. People are pouring money into running ads. See, it will shock you. Most of the people you think that are best sellers on Instagram, best sellers on Facebook, best sellers anywhere you know, they are actually pumping millions of naira in ad. If you don't have that money, what do you do? Have you thought about it? If you don't have over one million naira in your disposal to spend on ad, money you can even use to buy products, what do you do? So again, you don't have to jump on trends right segment your marketing break it down and be very 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 finicky with what you want to spend on check your old marketing tips check your old marketing um your old marketing content your old marketing spend how much have we spent on ad which of this ad converted more did we sell more on instagram did you sell more in the store did we sell more what are your basic channels for selling and where do you get more revenue if people want to walk into your store and that's where they make a lot of money you don't have to push a lot online still get your online rolling but start pushing people to show up the goal is to make sales the goal is not to follow trend the goal is not to be popular online the goal is to see cash at hand how can you get people to buy those products those services and hand you money asap without delay without struggle without stems and condition check your best channels where have you been selling more and push more marketing in that line what content do your customers relate to more do more of that it's christmas it's a three months period you don't have time to test what you want to do is to use what works and what works is based on what you've been doing before if instagram is the place push it if you used to spend 50k in ad 
I may have to tell you, you may have to double that spend. Because everybody's doing art. How do your art stand out? That's the next question. So you may need to get to spend more money so that your art can just be in people's faces the more. But more than that, you now have to trickle down to what content gets people's attention. What do people ask us about? What are the FAQs? What are the issues? You want to see, you want to pass a message and nobody's asking you, oh, what did you say? How did you say it? The next question is, oh, I need this. I want to know more about this. You need to get inquiries. You need to get leads so that they eventually convert to sales and you can see money in your bank account. So the third tip is to find out, number one, what channels have been your best channels for sales? Number two, what content have been your best content for sales? Number three, you might double your ad spend for this Christmas. Yeah. Life is unfair, but it is what it is. Now, here is my number four tip. And I hope that by following through this, if you follow through these tips one by one and add this number four, you're going to kill it. Come back to me for a review. So what's number four? Bundle up your products. Guys, bundle up your products. It's October, Black Friday, Black this, Black that. Bundle up your products. People want to get more for less. So it's Christmas, it's spending time, but there's still a priority. There's still a scale of preference. There's still do i need this do i don't need it people are trying to make decisions so you want them to make those decisions fast bundle up those best selling products with something else that probably is not going as fast bundle it up even if you need to remove 10 percent 5 percent 500 naira remove business is really about numbers especially if you're selling um low cost products if you're selling anything below ten dollars ten thousand five thousand seven thousand fifteen thousand you might actually need to bundle them up so bundling it means you're going to make more sales and you're going to get most of the items in your store out by the end of the year if you're someone who sells dresses right you may want to bundle up a certain pants and top and these for 20k if people who typically buy singles it will be 25k but when you bundle it up it's 20k i would buy that i'll be like okay i get to pay it up okay i don't have to think about what i'm wearing it with i'll buy it Free delivery if you need to do, but always do your calculation. Always do your calculation. Oh, we're going to run free delivery this month for all the purchases above to 20,000. You have done your calculation that the highest delivery to a particular location is this. And we're going to make at least 100 sales or 200 sales. So our profit is this. And if we cover out this free delivery, this is what it's going to cover. And we may still have a bit of profit. Doing discounts and free deliveries without knowing what your numbers are, without putting a target of sales and without making profit, is more like not even doing anything, not selling at all. So bundle up, do discount, do free delivery, but know your numbers. So I hope with these few tips of mine, I'm able to give you as much information you need to be able to run your sales this Christmas and make as much money as possible. Please, if this works for you, let me know one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe with me and start off with break. Stay tuned for more tips.